Hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Brachatha Yahweh, Brachatha Yahweh Shai. Right? I want to say Shalom, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Baha Rakakwadash. Barakatham to the elect. Okay, the uh, house of David, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the men that's pushing the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in all sincerity and in all truth. All right, so, um, you know, just um, thinking, you know, just wanted to, you know, put it uh, as an epistle, man. Just thinking about how. No, this world really does doesn't accept us, man. We're not we're not um, we're like it's like it's like we're not from here, man. You know, it's not like we're, it's like we're the the men. You know, starting with the prophets, okay. It's like that we're not even from um, um, the same the same uh, world, and really we're not, okay. Because if we you know be a part of the elect, if we are in the body of Yahweh Shai, what did Yahweh Shai say? He said that. Uh, He's from above and, and, and they're from below, okay? And he also said about uh, himself and the elect, you know, in uh, St. John the 17th chapter, when he was praying for them, for the disciples, he said, that, uh, they're not of the world, even as I'm not of the world, you know? And it's, and, it's, and it's evident, man, you know? It's evident based off of how people, uh, you know, conduct themselves with us. You know, we're not the ones people are, you know, hitting up to go, you know, to, to 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 hang out with, or you know, you might have friends that you knew in the world, okay, and um, before you came into this truth, and, and slowly but yet surely they've distanced themselves from you, okay. Uh, women that you you know that that might have you know had a crush on you or uh, might have been you know in, in interested in you once you became into this truth, it's like. It's like to them you're a whole different, completely different person, man. But you know that's really, that's really a good sign, okay? That's a good sign that people are distancing, distancing themselves from you. As Yahweh Shai said, you know, blessed are ye when men shall separate you from their company. Yeah, why? Because you don't want to be, you know, in all actuality, you don't want to be associated with uh, the people of this world, man, because. What do they, what do they, you know, uh, think about? What do they, what do they mind on? Oh, it's, it's nothing but wickedness, nothing but folly, and nothing that's going to, and, 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 and anything that's going to basically lead to your destruction, okay? So when people are separating themselves from you, you know, it might seem, you know, uh, whack, or it might seem like, you know, oh man, that's whatever, whatever, but ultimately, you know, that's a blessing, all right? It's a, it's a real blessing. It's just that we just got to endure that. We just got to endure the the being ostracized. Okay? And and know that hey, it's for it's for your good. All right? It's for your benefit, really. And this is also why it's imperative and important to always, you know, be amongst um the brotherhood too. Be among, amongst people of like mind. Hey, and I say this, man, if you got brothers that say this truth, that know this truth, that claims to, to, you know, be a, uh, a man of the Lord, Lord willing, and you're over here compromising yourself, compromising your, 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 uh, your integrity to appease or to assimilate to these people of this world, to your so-called friends of this world. Hey, man, you got to check yourself, man. Okay. You got to check yourself. You don't want to, you don't have to downplay your, your, uh, your, your belief or your faith so that you can make other people comfortable, man. Fuck that, man. You know, that's a that's a weak mentality, and and that's ultimately a form of you denying Yahweh Shai. Okay, and what did Yahweh Shai say in uh, I believe that's Mark the eighth chapter, around the thirty seventh to thirty uh, thirty uh, eighth verse, I believe. Uh, I'll just pull it up real quick. It says, "Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation." Why would you be ashamed of proclaiming this truth? Why would you be ashamed of people knowing what you're about? You know, you know. I, I remember, you know, coming, coming uh, when I first came into this truth. You know, I, I didn't really make it known to a lot of people. I mean, at first you make it known to people, but then you try to, you try to, uh, uh, you know, be a Clark Kent, so to speak, 
But honestly, man, we coming into that spirit that like we're not even trying to hide it anywhere, man. You know, I find myself at the job talking about it with, you know, old my older coworkers. Like I'm at the point where I don't even care. Yeah, like I remember the, uh, I seen a brother, the, a video the brother Yashawama did. It was like, yeah, man, like man, we're Israelites. This is what I believe. This is what I stand by, and that's it. And that's the spirit that we end in these last days, man. Okay, being being extra bold for Yahweh Bashing that was shot. Why? Because ultimately, this world don't got shit to offer us, man. And if you if in the, if you in this truth and you still think that you could you got something to gain out of this world. You, you got to really examine yourself whether you be in the faith, man. Okay? This world is is done, man. This world is waxing worse and worse. Okay? The morale, the the integrity, everything, man. Just pe how people act, what they think about. It's all it's all just done, man. And, the, and, and we have the opportunity to be a part of the elect, to be a part of the, the ones that are going to make it through this final destruction. And here it is. You want to deny it? You're ashamed of, 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 of boldly uh, of speaking this word, speaking this gospel. Hey, man! Ultimately, you want to be you're going to be ashamed, man. You're going to be ashamed when Yahweh shall say, "I never knew you. you, you, you workers of iniquity." Okay? It says, "Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words, shame of this truth." What what is there to be ashamed about, man? We're speaking about righteousness. We're speaking about. Uh, uh, pure man, purity, holiness, okay, a righteous kingdom, our people ruling. Clearly, clearly, the way that this devil Esau is ruling is ruling the earth is not is not the way that it's supposed to be, man. All right. Clearly, the way that these uh, uh, people think right now is not the correct way. And we have the ways, man. Okay, the word, Yahweh Shai. This is the way that things are supposed to be uh, done in this place. But if you're ashamed to, to speak about that, if you don't want to step on all toes or ruffle any feathers, you know, you don't want people to look at you, you know, a certain way, hey, man, then get out the way for real, man. Okay, get out the fucking way. All right? The Lord is raising up real men, the house of David, man. Okay? In the house of David, they didn't take no shit. All right. But ultimately it says, I'm going to keep on going. It says of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in his glory of his father with the holy angels. So if you are ashamed uh, of not uh, of, of not being in this world, if you are ashamed of being looked at differently because this world doesn't accept Yahweh Shai, man. OK, they accept uh, uh Caesar, uh, Caesar Borgia, they accept Jesus Christ, Serapis, uh, Serapis Christus, man. They don't accept Yahweh Shai. This world hates Yahweh Shai, man. Don't don't let these so-called Bible thumpers and people, so-called Christian Christians, fool you. The, the 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 true Messiah, okay, as the Scripture have said, he is. This world hates him, and that's why the script, this this place Babylon hates him. That's why it says. A spiritual side of Mega more where our Lord was crucified at, man. Okay, the Lord gets crossed out every day here, and His disciples and His prophets. Okay, who, who we Lord willing hope to be, we get crossed out, misused uh, uh, daily, man. Like I said, man, we're not of this place, man. All right, and the sooner you and the truth, the sooner you can come to grips with that and accept that, the the, the better off you're going to be. But but if you keep trying to uh, uh, play both sides of the fence, all right? The, hey, you're going to get spewed out, man. The scripture says, Yahweh I said, you know, he that is lukewarm shall be spewed out of my mouth, all right? Or whether you hot or cold, but since you are lukewarm, I shall spew you out, okay? Hey, this is the time to, to, to gird up your loins of your minds and, and just go all out, man. Go all out for righteousness sake, man. What do you, what do you have to lose, all right? What do you have to lose? Nothing in this world is 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 worth keeping. Why? Because everything is fucking temporary in this place, man. From the from the 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 so-called fun you have to the so-called women you think you got to the so-called job, all right, that you that you got to get up and work for, put the monkey suit on, the 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 hamster wheel fucking life, man. All right? 
I'm sick of that hamster wheel life. Every fucking day, it's the same bullshit, man. Every day, it's the same thing in this place. And here it is, you got our people thinking that this is living the lifestyle, man. Living you you on the top of a fucking mountain. But but we out here crying for righteousness. We, we, we crying out for the abominations in this place. And we get looked at as being the worst thing, man. We get looked at <laughs> literally as being the worst thing since the fucking KKK. Now that these... Uh, Edomites are trying to, uh, you know, compare us to, but ultimately, man, this place is going, this place is done, man, this place is going to be destroyed, this society, Esau, your hegemon, your way of living, everything that you been, been pushing out is going to be done, man, and all you, you so-called, uh, you, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you two-third Israelites that want to stay in this place, you're going to die in this place, man, all right? The judgment of the Lord is set. All right? The judgment shall sit and it's not going to return to him void, man. It's not going to return. It's not going to it's not going to uh it's not going to be be reversed. This is what it is, man. All right? You know, I, I kind of went off topic, but hey, it's through the spirit, man. You know, it's it's it's, it's the fact that man, we we just want to get out of here, man. And that's the mentality that you're supposed to be in. Every fucking day you supposed to be in that mentality. I want to get out of this place, man. I want this this to end. I want the elect to be sealed. And and you and the Lord said that we gotta be what in, in the laborers of the harvest, man. So you can't just want the elect to be sealed. You gotta put in work for the elect to be sealed. Put in that spiritual work, man. All right. Don't just sit around on on uh, uh on a corner, you know, on a sideline cheering. Put in the work, man. Hey, the harvest is truly great. The vineyard needs to be plowed, man. Put your hand to the plow and get busy. Whatever you could do, do it, man. The time, the time of, of sitting around and and double double thinking and doubting yourself. The Lord ain't dealing with doubt, man. The scripture says that the unbelieving and the fearful should be uh, cast into the lake of fire, man. So you by simply being fearful, that's gonna get you thrown, uh, get you hit in a, uh, in a, by a nuke, man. You by by doubting the the the, sp the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's gonna get you destroyed also. The Lord said in, in Joshua, "Be of good courage, man. Be of good courage. Be a courageous. Be a fucking lion." All right. But I'm gonna get the scripture. Uh, in St. John, what I first quoted in the beginning, because like I said, man, you know, we're not of this place. So when people, you know, uh, have, have, you know, uh, evil eyes towards us or, you know, they, they look at us any certain type of way. Hey, just know that's a good sign, man. All right. When they looking at you for, for being different in a righteous manner. That's a good sign. Why wouldn't why wouldn't you want to be righteous, man? And it's because what? Because this world pushes out wickedness. So if you don't want to be righteous, that means you want to be accepted by this society, by this world, which means you want to be accepted by the fucking devil. You want to be accepted by left-handed energy, man. By the by the workings of Satan. So what do you think your judgment is gonna be? If you want to be accepted by this world, you want to be accepted by by Satan, man straight up because this world doesn't promote anything righteous and i'm talking about anything man okay every single solitary thread ideology of this world of this age esau's rulership is nothing but promotion of wickedness man okay hey, and that's why how i said what that that uh that the prince of this world come and he has nothing he has nothing in him he has nothing in him. Esau has nothing in uh, 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 with Yahweh Shai. So that's how you know them promoting, talking about this is a God-fearing country. That's how you know they ain't talking about the Heavenly Father through his son Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai said, the prince, this, the prince of this world cometh and he has nothing in me. All right? We're not of this world, man. And the fashions of this world is going, is going to fade away. So while you trying to make your make make your name here 
That's what these niggas want to do, man. They want to they want to thrive in a falling wicked ass society. We want this society to be destroyed. That's the only prayer that you're supposed to have. Not the only one, but concerning this society, that's the only prayer that you're supposed to be having, man. Destroy this place. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but Wafla Baba Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. That's it, man. Destruction and death to, to Babylon, man. To Esau's rulership. To anybody that that wants this place to continue. Okay? Bring the kingdom, man. Bring the kingdom of heaven. Save us, deliver us out of this place. That's what your mentality is, man. We're not from here. We're not, this isn't home, man. This isn't our house. We're captive, man. We're out of our house, man. All right? And if you want to be in, 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 in somebody else's house for your whole life, this that's what you, that's what, that's the mentality that you have when you talking about staying in this place for another five, three, four, a year, man. You're now home. Why would you want to stay somebody somewhere else when you got a, a home, man? When you got a beautiful, magnificent home that everything is in complete order and righteousness, righteousness in. St. John chapter 17, verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. The word is thy truth, man. So we're not of this world, okay? We're not of this world and we're not going to, we're not going to try to make it in this world either, man. We're not going to try to, try to make it, make, make it comfortable in this place. Fuck it, man. We're supposed to be uncomfortable, okay? Hey, get, get comfortable with being uncomfortable because it's going to get, it's going to get way worse, man. It ain't going to get better. This place is, on, this place is only going to wax worse and worse. All right? The, the, the. The love of many shall wax worse and worse. Evil is going to grow. Okay? Death is going to be more in this place. Famines, pestilence. The Lord is about to do a number in Babylon, man. Scripture says it's going to be a time as never was before. Okay? So 1 John chapter... I that's the fifth... The, the fifth... Uh, fifth chapter... First John 5 in uh, Salaki. I'm just find it real quick. Con. First John 4, verse 5. It says, They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. All right? So we're not, these people are, are associated with themselves. The, the elect is a small number, man. When you, when, if you're not with brothers, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be out, lolly, uh, out and about and, 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 and dealing with this world uh, uh, often, man. Why? Because we're not of the world. So the things that we really want to talk about, as the scripture says, you're supposed to be in holy conversation. You can't talk with, with these people of this world. They're carnal, man. They're low level. We're supposed to be on a high spiritual frequency. And if you are always just dropping your frequency so you can be around these people, guess what? That's that's drawing energy out of you, man. Spiritual, righteous energy out of you. Hey, the scriptures the scripture says it, man. That what 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 conversation does Hamashiach have with Baal? Okay? What communication can they really have together? It's either it's either you one or the other, man. You can't be dabbling in both. Now, the scripture says we are users of the world, but not abusers of it. But really, we're, 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 we're becoming more and more distant from this just from this place, man. Like I said, hey, if, if it's not with the brotherhood, and if you got a woman, you, you got to, you know, be with your woman. But hey, I say personally, man, I don't even, I don't, don't even want to be around her that much, man. Hey, the prophets were loners. When you read the scriptures, when you go into it, the prophets were loners, man. They wasn't they wasn't well liked. People wasn't telling Ezekiel and Isaiah, hey, come over for for a lamb for a lamb dinner. We gonna have a we gonna have a feast. Uh, hey, come over so we could you know play 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 whatever. No man, the prop nobody wanted the prophets around, man. All right, 
scripture says, read it again. It says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of, we are of the most high, and he know, and he, he that knoweth the most high heareth us. So the only ones that's really going to be, uh, you know, around us and, 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 and hearing us is the elect anyway, man. You over here trying to, trying to be around and, and, and congregate with people of this world. It's, it's only going to, it's only going to cause you, if you are a real sincere man of the Lord, it's only going to cause you more vexation, man. And if you're not vexed, say, if you're not vexed by, by being around these people often, then you got to, once again, man, you got to check yourself to see if you're in the faith, man. Okay? If, if what these people talk about don't vex you, then, then you, you, you might not be a man of the Lord, man. You better ask the Lord to, to, uh, to purify you for real. You always in, in, in wait, around two thirds and oh, cause they're your friends and no, man, look, man, the Lord said, who is my mother? Who is my father? All right. Those that do the will of the, of the Lord. Yeah. You got so-called people that you're associated with in, in this world, but ultimately, man, if they're against you, they shy, they're, they're supposed to be against you. You're supposed to be against them too, man. Okay. If they ain't about this work, if they ain't about uh, righteousness, if they ain't about the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, they're in the way. They're in the way. And guess what? The Lord going to get them out the way. And if and if hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So if you over here, oh no, but they're cool, they're my friends. Look, they they you better you better put them on. <laughs> you better tell them about this truth. All right, you better tell them about the truth and tell them to get right. That's 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 showing real love. All right. That's showing real love to, to them. If they really your friends, tell them about this truth. You're around people of this world and, and they don't even know what you're really about. They don't really they don't know that you are Israelite, that you are a, a, a man of the Lord. I'm talking about if you're around people constantly. Not somebody you just meet in the streets, whatever. But if you're around somebody constantly and they don't even know what you're about. Alright? And you have the opportunity to tell them. Hey man, that blood's gonna be in your hand. Cause if they're an Israelite, you're supposed to warn them. You're supposed to let them know. Now, of course, it's all through uh, uh, being wise. But once again, if you're around them long enough, you you shouldn't be able to hide that light, man. If the Lord talked about that, uh, if you have a light, you're supposed to let it shine on top of a, 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 a hill, man. You're not supposed to put it underneath a bush. Okay. But you know. I'm going to end that with there, man. Like I said, it was just a, a, a rant. I was just thinking about, man, we not of this world, okay? So don't try to act like it, okay? Don't try to act. Don't try to assimilate. Don't try to conform. Scripture talks about we're supposed to conform to the will of the Most High. That's it. That's the only thing that we're supposed to be conforming to, man. Fuck this world. This place is done, man. America's through, okay? Esau's rulership is over, and this devil fucking knows it. Hey, two-thirds that want to stay here, you're dead too, okay? Let the multitude perish which was born in vain, man. It's about the elect. This is about the house of David, man. This is about salvation and redemption in the kingdom of heaven, okay? That's what we care about. That's the only thing we, we care about, man, is, is getting out of this place in the kingdom of heaven, Yahweh Shai returning and putting our enemies underneath our foots, man, and us ruling, man, and righteousness forever. Okay, so with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and Shalom, man, to the elect. Shalom.